Hi friends, welcome to HTL Lectures. My name is Hadil. In this lecture, we are going to define what is economics. Basically, economic have no single definition which have been defined by any economist. But this is a series of definitions which was given from time to time based on the conditions or situations or analysis made by economists. There are basically four definitions. Wealth definition, welfare definition, scarcity definition and growth definition. This is not an alternative definition, but it's all related definitions. As you all know that, who is the father of economics? Adam Smith, he is the father of economics. Before him, there was no one who have defined economics. Before the Adam Smith, the economics was just used as a political economics. There was nothing like a uh, separate uh, wing for economics before Adam Smith. Adam Smith, in his book, An Inquiry into the Nature and Cause of Wealth of Nation, in 1776, he says that economics is a science which deals with wealth. He have given the wealth definition of economics. He says that economics is a science which is dealing with wealth. Wherever wealth is involved in economy we can say that it's an economical study or it's a science of economics and the same definition was also given by jb say he also says that economics is a study of science of wealth so this is what the first definition given in economic world but this definition had many many uh, loopholes or which have many critics like it says that the wealth is uh, not the only thing to be considered for studying economics. And with this criticism, there came another economist whose name was Alfred Marshall. He says that in his famous book, Principles of Economics in 1870s after Adam Smith, Alfred Marshall says that economics in one side, it's a study of wealth and on other side, it's a study of welfare of human beings. It is not just wealth that deals economics. We should also consider the welfare of the society, welfare of the man for economy. So he uh, says that he have given the welfare definition in economics and he have given more importance to welfare and he have given a social science aspect to economics. Adam Smith says that it was just a science, but he have given he haven't given any social aspect to the definition. But Alfred Marshall clearly says that it's a social science by introduction of welfare into the definition of wealth. So Adam uh, Alfred Marshall says that economics is a wealth plus welfare. Welfare should also be considered, but. This was also not a perfect definition and there was many incomplete, def uh, it was almost incomplete definition and there was very many uh, critics uh, which was given on this definition. After this definition, there came a renowned economist who have given an important definition in economics and this is still being very important definition in the economics world. That means scarcity definition. This scarcity definition is given by Lionel Robbins in his famous book, Nature and Significance of Economic Science in 1932. He says that economics is a science, but he doesn't say that it's not just a science, but uh, it's a science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative use. He have given a scarcity concept into this definition. He says that economics is a science, but it studies human behavior as a relationship between ends. Here the ends means wants. That means it's a wants, W-A-N-T-S, wants. And means, uh, we, can, we have to consider both wants and means. Whatever we want, we may not be able to buy we should also have the means or we should also have the resources. So wants and resources, the needs and resources should be uh, new, neutrally linked. Otherwise, we cannot satisfy our wants or we cannot exist in the economic world. So to be economical, we have to understand both ends and means. This is what Lionel Robinson says through his scarcity definition. He have given uh, what is scarcity means in his 
definition have already created a detailed video on scarcity so you can watch scarcity definition in the link and this definition was also had many critics like he haven't given much uh, importance to time concept this time concept was not introduced in this scarcity definition so after uh, this scarcity definition there came jm keynes and p a samuelson p a samuelson uh, in his book economics and introductory analysis in 1948 he says that we should not only consider the scarcity definition but we have to consider also the time element here the time element he means that according to samuelson the problem of scarcity of resources not only confined to present but also to the future we should not consider the economic definition only based on the present condition but we also have to consider the future aspect that means we have to do sustainable development or we have to protect our future or we have to economically decide for the future not only just for the present while creating or while developing an economic activities or economic materials we have to uh, understand the futuristic concept or what will be the future of this economical decision this also to be considered according to the definition of growth so growth definition is an additional concept uh, apart from the scarcity in this growth definition we will have all the four definitions that means wealth definition is included and in the same way welfare is included and scarcity is included and time element is also included so this is what the growth definition says growth definition also incorporates the time element apart from other three definitions Hope you all understood what are the definitions in economy and thanks for watching.